I could hit the leg, I could hit right up to the elbow. That's your choice. I prefer hitting the elbow because we might as well just destroy that arm entirely, right? So I hit. I want to bring the end of the hanbo to me. I don't want to try to reach my hand or bend his arm. I bring the hanbo to my hand. He's bending his elbow right away because he knows that I'm probably going to torque it quick and hurt him. So I don't want to do that. So just go slowly bring it straight. So I just bring this here and when I pull down on it, it twists and forward. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. The grip is this way. Baseball bat style, sword style, thumbs both to the sky. So one more time is here. Boom. In. Because I want to get it. Sometimes my students are fighting to try to hit their weapon. Well, that's all you need to do. release this and snap it into the body so it's going to hit to the hip joint and then I'm going to bring them down this way and keep the pin so it's nothing more than the other way we went back now we just let it go in and we go forward so again the technique comes through boom in and down now I I use my edge of my wrist to lock that in and if I want to be brutal I might lean on the back and pull up on the arm it really all depends on how quickly I have to get out of there and what I mean by that is there might be a multiple attack situation. It might be two or three people. I can't stay on the ground and grapple. I need to just do it quick, get that da damage done, and move on to the next person. Make sense? So quick. Again, here. Boom. Through. And I pull it this way. And let's say maybe I'm losing it on that side to go backwards. So I just reverse them forward and bring it down. I could pin, step, take it out, strike. Okay? Make sense? One more angle. So again, from here, comes in, we know this part already. We rotate it in front. Okay, let's try. Relax and I go outside, boom. Just like that, I step outside. And I'm gonna roll, with, understand, my forearm has to touch his forearms. And I'm gonna roll under and bend. Now for now, we don't have a lot of space. We would normally roll the person and they'll fall away. Or I would do this in and crash his head right to the ground so that he doesn't get back up. So again, one more time. Boom, in. Rotation, we would just cast away. Right, but for now, because it's tight quarters, we're gonna do this. Bam, in, and just step, and you can stop there. Because you know, look where he's angled. Only martial artists know how to roll and fall. Most people don't know how to do that. And by the way, most martial artists don't roll and fall all that much either. So that if it's not part of your art, you don't do it. Right, so yeah. One more time. Boom, feed it through, under the elbow, over the shoulder. Step in so you block him from turning on you. And bring him down. Make sense? Good. Try it. Okay. Okay. That's right. 